Okay, so week 10, last week of um, Butterfly Guard. Up until now, we've looked at um, playing Butterfly Guard on our butt and your opponent's been on their knees. And we've, and we've looked at various sweeps, transitions and things. Then we looked at um, when he stands. So we're just going to finish off with how I can get to play my Butterfly Guard or get in, use the, the, the techniques that we've learned over these 10 weeks from standing. So uh, what I really don't want to do is say we're for, from, from our clinch position and again we'll be hand fighting for me to get in. If I make grips on Lewis, he's going to um, circle his hands to break out. But let's just say we manage, uh, we don't want to go down the rabbit hole of, of, of um, fighting from the clinch or from this position. Let's just say I win the underhook and I, I won my underhook and I've got control of Lewis's other arm. What I want to do, what I don't want to do is actually pull butterfly guard from here because against a bigger, stronger person, the minute I sit on my butt from here and bring Lewis through me, I'm in butterfly guard. Now I'm going to have to start to work on pushing this in and hitting the butterfly guard sweep. So we really don't want to get into that battle of um, sitting to our butt and then playing the butterfly guard game. This butterfly guard sweep, the, the one we did from the underhook, the number one grip, the number one sweep, we can actually hit it from standing if we have the timing right. So again, from our stand up position, I'm trying to get uh, on fit and getting close to this. The minute I get inside, the minute I get inside with my underhook, I'm thinking, yes, I do want to push this elbow inside, which is good, but I want to be concentrating more on tucking my elbow to my body. I do want to push this inside, but I don't want to push this inside at the cost of Lewis winning the underhook on that arm. And then we're in the whole swim, battle of swimming to get this position. So yes, once I have the underhook, I do want to push this inside, but I want to concentrate on keeping, try to go on the underhook, I'm keeping my elbow clamped to my body. So I'm controlling that inside space. Now from here, I'm going to bring my left foot up and put it just above his right knee. Now again, this can be difficult if Lewis is really close to me. So the second thing I want to be thinking about is pushing into so they step back with that foot. That's going to give me the space to put my foot above his knee. Now obviously I don't want to stand here on one leg because he can come in and just take my leg. So the second my foot goes on his knee, I'm immediately hitting the butterfly guard sweep. Okay, I'm pushing this knee back and I'm using my right butterfly hook to put Lewis on his back. So as I push this inside and push here, I'm hitting the sweep, pulling over, I'm dropping him on my hip. I think the best way to drill this and play with this is just think about putting your opponent on their back. All right? Constantly, when I get into this clinch position and I'm looking for two on ones and I get into my underhook position, I can see the way Lewis possibly has the underhook there. Take a back a step. So once my hand comes here, I'm immediately getting my elbow to my body. That's the first thing. Try to win the underhook, it's difficult. Then I'm pushing in to, to take that step. If I, if I feel I can't get my foot here, I'm just going to push more and then she takes a bigger step. And now in one movement they step up, but we, do, we don't want to be on one leg for a split second. The minute I get my foot on his knee, I'm pushing it out, and as I pull him onto me, I'm not going flat on my back. I'm falling onto my left side and I just keep hitting the butterfly sweep as I fall. So watch what I'm doing with my right butterfly hook. So from our position, for hand fighting, when I get inside and I control that inside space so he can't win the underhook with his right arm on my left, now I need to get my foot on his knee or above his knee. So I just drive him until he takes that step. In one movement, just circle this way, but I have it here. In one movement, my foot's coming up, but as my foot's coming up, I'm using my right butterfly hook to um, guide Lewis onto his back as I push out this knee. One more time on that. From here. So as I walk inside the room, that underhook, and I push into him for him to take that step. It's just 